So here we got a special filter donated to my channel by a viewer. Uh, Castrol Premium Synthetic Oil Filter, good for 20,000 miles or, as it says here, 32,000 kilometers. Well, let's see. Built to handle extreme hot and cold conditions for all-season engine protection. I can't wait to check this out. Get her cut open. And this is for you, Stan. Thanks for the filter. All right, let me get her cut open still. Not with my oil filter cutter. What is taking so long? Why is shipping taking forever on this? I ordered it over a month ago. Ah, uh, this is... Oh, well, this is uh, what happens in real life. Well, I'll cut her the old-fashioned way. Okay, this one I was excited to get into because I wanted to see how good this one was. Of course, this one's never been used, so... But... The ends are crimped down around it. So, that was easy to take out for the first time. But, would it be the same if it's been on there a while? No, it's very thick and it fits down. It's, it's a good recess down there to fit down in there. Now, one, two... About five threads on this. As you can see, there's many holes here. They're smaller, smaller holes, but there is many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I believe thirteen holes. Then why is there only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Eight holes on it there. Because it's a little cover for it. Just, I don't know why they put these covers on them. Not sure, but hey, it doesn't seem to hurt the filter. This does not feel like rubber. This feels like black silicone, the ceiling ring. So it might be uh, silicone. It just does not feel like rubber. It just feels like silicone. So that would be nice. Now, this is silicone. And yeah. Feels about the same as that. And yeah, that, that's a nice touch to it. All right, let us pull out the filter. This is already not to, hmm. I thought this filter for the price they were and for it to last 20,000 kilometers. Oh no, 32,000 kilometers at 20,000 miles. This would have, you know, something of a kind of a more interesting filter inside but we'll get it we'll get to looking at that a little closer well it's got one of these uh stamp springs in it i guess they work but that that seems to work good as a bypass valve so yeah works fine the only thing is let's see it goes in like that right and yeah i guess that would work uh i don't like these type at all and uh, oil oils on the outside of the filter it fills up pushes in on this releases oil back into the engine yeah probably gonna need that when going twenty thousand miles on an oil filter i have never thought that was a good idea and i don't know how these oil filter companies get away with that but that's a discussion for another time it's nothing uh i can do about it <laughs> So, I can't write them a letter and say, hey, change these. You got to change these filters at least before 10,000 kilometers, especially this type. And, uh, oh my word, that is not a deep filter. That is, like, not very deep at all. How could this last that long? Well, let me cut off the filtration and we'll see how good it is. Right now... I'm not seeing it being a, a filter that should cost here in Canada. I think it costs about 17, 18 bucks. And you can get a Wix for probably under 10 that's much better built than this. So, uh, well, let me cut the filtration off and see. So, let's say it was not that hard to cut through because it is pretty well paper or cardboard. 
Well, it says premium synthetic, so maybe it's impregnated with some in synthetic fibers or something. But yeah, it wasn't that hard to cut it open. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's get her pulled apart here. And get a better look at her. There we go. So, this is like your uh, kind of normal center uh, stack here. Oh, well, she did come apart. I was just going to say, well, at least she didn't come apart. But, yeah. Came apart. No big deal. It's usually the filtration that holds it all together. But, uh, yeah, I got no, no worries about this this part here. This is, this is standard. This is metal. It's great. I like this stuff. That, that, that's okay. It's this uh, filtration here held together pretty strong, actually. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's held together pretty strong. But this filtration here is just as skinny as any of the other ones I've opened up. This, uh, is this made by uh, <laughs> France? Um, as soon as you get a little oil in this, my word, I don't, I really don't think this is impregnated as a... Uh, a synthetic oil filter this is this is just your standard paper like there's nothing special about this rips like it's skinny it rips really easy wow um wow not impressed hmm so uh, would i say i'd buy this no i wouldn't buy this does it have some good features? Yes, it does. Metal ends, synthetic, uh, not synthetic. Uh, it's got an anti-drain back, which is okay. Stamp steel springs system. I don't like those, but a lot of them have them. And uh, the case. I think it's, the case is pretty thick. Oh, this one has rust inside of it. Was it rust or no? It wasn't rust. That wasn't rust. That came from the cutting process of cutting this open because I don't have my oil filter cutter yet. One day, one day it'll come. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a pretty strong case though. That's a nice thick case. But yeah, when you get down to it, would you trust your vehicle to twenty thousand miles with this kind of filtration in it? It's pretty thin, and. Uh, this just looks like your standard filtration of a filter. So I'm kind of disappointed in the Castrol Premium Synthetic Oil Filter. And uh, would I put it on my vehicle? No, not really. There's better choices that are a lot cheaper than this. So no, this one gets a this one gets a fail from me. I'm not impressed by it, so I wouldn't buy it. All right. Well, thanks for watching.